Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to adjust audio within Adobe Premiere. So to get started we're going to open up Premiere and to get started I'm just going to take and drag on some footage that I have and this footage is some that I took at VidCon of Philip DeFranco talking so you can you can see that's just the footage but um, basically what we're going to be working with on this today is just the audio so I'm just going to take and kind of crush this down so that we can actually uh, have a little bit more room to work. Alright, so the first thing that you can do um, when adjusting your audio is basically um, when you, whenever you drag a clip onto your stage, um, it has a line here and you can see that there's this yellow line. Um, if you don't see it on YouTube, you can take and um, up the uh, video resolution, the HD option, and then go full screen. You should be able to see this line here. Basically, um, that's the level that's where the audio is so if you take and lower this yellow line down you can see that it now says negative 12.73 decibels so basically by moving this up or down you're adding or removing decibels which is a unit of sound and so basically you're changing the volume up or down so now if I take and play it it's definitely a lot softer um, so that's basically how you can do that. So I'm just going to undo that. Now if you want a little bit more um, refining over this, you can take and go up to Window and then down to Audio Mixer. Or you can go to Audio Master Levels and it'll take and it'll bring up this little box here. Um, you may need to select your specific sequence and it'll bring it up. So what you want to do um, with this is it pretty much gives you a little bit more options. You can see you have kind of a scale rather than trying to move this line. So if you wanted to move it down 12 or so and then you can actually take and type in a number right there. So you get a little bit more of a fine tuned adjustment. Um, as well, I'm going to take and move this back up to zero. And you can also take and adjust the left and right um, balance for your audio. And basically what that is is um, which side of the speaker that sound will come out on. So if I take and drag this all the way to the left so it's at negative 100, then it's only going to play the audio from that on my left speaker. Now if I take and do this on the right side, sometimes it's just easier to type in a value because the knob's a little weird, um, then it will take and play it only on the right. Um, so you've probably heard this before in like songs, you'll hear um, certain instruments, if you're listening to them on like headphones, you'll hear them on the left or the right. Um, this is kind of how you can do it with your video. So I'm just going to take and put that back at zero so that we don't have that um, to deal with later, but that's just how you can get a little bit more fine-tuned. Um, so the next thing I wanted to show you is actually how you can take and maybe fade in or fade out your audio. So if you remember in my last video, if you saw that, um, where I was taking and animating things um, using this motion right here, um, whenever you click on any video clip, you'll have some options already. And now the same thing if you click on an audio clip. Now these two are linked, so it'll bring up both video and audio. But with your audio, you will always have the audio effect of volume. So what you're going to do is just click the little uh, triangle to bring that down, and you'll have bypass and level. And level is what we're going to be messing with today. So basically, um, you can set keyframes here. So I'm just going to move back to the beginning. And as you can hear, um, as I'm kind of going through, you can hear um, the audio, so that helps when you're editing. Um, so if you want to hear the audio, you can scrub through. And if you don't want to hear any audio for that particular track, you can take and toggle this little uh, volume here, and then it's basically like muting the clip. So I'm just going to put it back to the beginning. And then what we can do is take and click the little keyframe button right here in order to add a keyframe. So that's what our starting volume is going to be. So for our starting volume, I'm just going to have it fade in from nothing. So I'm just going to drag it all the way to the left, which apparently is negative 287.5 decibels. So now let's say we want to um, maybe over the course of this much time we want him to um, gradually get louder so it can kind of fade into the clip and so then I'll take and click another keyframe and what that's going to be is it should be zero. Um, if it's not we can take and set that and hit it at zero and one of these is zero and one of them is what we don't want. For some reason if you're not exactly on the keyframe um, it will add a second one so if that happens to you just take and move it over and delete it um, it's really easy to do if it's just a tiny bit off then you're over like one frame it'll add in a second keyframe but you can see I just deleted it and added in a new one so basically now if we take and play it and 
now you can see that it's basically taken and faded into the audio and if you look down here um, where our little line was before now you can see that you actually have a point here and you have a point here and you have a curve in between them um, that's going up and so basically you can get all kinds of fancy audio and you can fade in things and fade out things that you don't want or you want to kind of lead into your audio clip or maybe fade out at the end of your video um, so you can do some pretty cool things with your audio um, just by keyframing it so another thing you can do um, is actually um, you'll see here if I wanted to say make him get super loud you would think you would just drag this up because you can go to negative 287 you would think you can go to at least positive 287 but it only caps it off at six so you can only get an increase of six decibels um, by doing that so it's kind of problematic um, if you want something that's really soft to kind of um, be better in sound so what you want to do is take and you can click on your audio right click and then go down to it's off screen but audio gain so it'll bring up the audio gain box and then you can take and just crank this up as much as you want now um, I'm not going to preview this because I don't really want me or you to go deaf but basically um, it gets really loud um, as you do this so you can just really crank this up um, it seems that it caps it off at 96 um, but if you need extra audio that you can't get out of that 6 then that's the way that you can increase it um, so the last thing I wanted to show you was if you want to separate your audio and your video um, layers. So right now if I take and say I wanted to crop this audio down, I would just drag it and it cut the video at the exact same time because when I imported this, the video and the audio are on the exact same, um, they're the same file so it takes and links them together. So what you want to do to um, separate them is take and right click on your audio and then go down to unlink. And so now I can take and click on them individually. You can see that it's selecting them separately from each other. Um, so the reason that you might want to do this, um, there's actually a number of reasons. One is if you want to do like a voiceover effect. Um, there's uh, basically if you wanted to um, take and cut some audio together that you took from uh, an external source. Like say you had um, an external audio recorder, say for instance an iPhone could record better audio than your camera. You would record the video with your camera, you record the audio with your iPhone, and then you take and bring in your audio, and you bring in your video, and then you'd take and you'd have to move them separately in order to sync them up. Um, so that's just kind of um, some other things you can do. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick the uh, voiceover thing because that's pretty handy. Um, basically what you'd do is you'd cut your video somewhere. I'm not going to be real picky about this, and then you kind of crop it back on each side um, where you wanted the voiceover to go and then you take and you drag in something say um, right here I have a YouTube logo and we'll just kind of cut this in so basically now we have um, the audio from the entire clip and Phil will be talking along and then it'll switch to this image for part of it, but it'll still retain the audio from that original video clip. So that's how you can do some pretty cool um, voiceover work. Um, you would probably have something more interesting than just the YouTube logo. You might have some um, actual video of what he was talking about. Um, but you get the idea of with how you can cut that in. Um, so I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial and hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And check back next week for a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.